It's funny because like I know I said earlier it's gonna be cold and it really is. But then I was I was being too stubborn and I wanted to ride. Maybe I should have taken the car. <laughs> Oh my god, the G Wagon and everything. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. You know, for cars, I don't really care for that much, depending on what it is. And I do like the classic cars better. My dream car is actually a, um, what, what year? Um, 1969 Camaro Yanko. Yes, I'm a Yanko kind of guy. <laughs> that there's my dream car. Am I ever going to find one? Nope. But you know what? It's good to have dreams. Warming <laughs> up my tires. Do, 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 do. I like how there's only one person in that car. Today on the HOV lane. <laughs> Oh yeah, so by the way, for those of you who are confused, like, I've been seeing a lot of comments saying whenever I'm on the HOV lane on my bike, they were saying like, oh, you can't be in the HOV lane. And like, yes I can. It depends where you're from, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, where the only people are allowed to be on the HOV lane is basically uh, high ridge or electrical, like, uh, uh, fuel friendly cars, such as like electrical or um, hybrid cars. More than one passenger in a car or any motorcyclist are allowed to be on the HOV lane over here. So you say it's illegal? Well, we'll look it up. Hello everyone, I am back. So I know I didn't make a video in a little bit because uh, what's been happening. Because what's been happening was that. Um, better what's been happening was that you know it's just been raining and everything and it looks like it might rain today which sucks because i just got myself some new tires what kind of tires they are they're the uh dunlop rules point three tires so how come i didn't go over like some q3 pluses or anything else or anything really like michelin power sport or something like that i forgot what it's called but um, I'm gonna tell you a reason because there's a good reason for it too. The reason is because, well, one, I like to use what I know, you know, since I trust these tires. So that's why I got them. You know, there's four touring tires. Now, compared them to the QT Pluses, oh, well, the QT Pluses are a lot longer than everything. So yeah, 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 I know. I know you get like what, just about 10,000 miles on them which is not bad and everything for those type of tires they're pretty good for what they are but you know i need oh soft this no oh. yeah uh, uh. and get that clean some sort of like a residue or something yeah that's nasty yeah i know the kitty plus the car lots of like what about 8,000 miles or something like that from the top of my head around that around that but these tires could last way longer than that because they're sport touring tires <coughs> sorry now I know my friend uh, Patrick he was stating that um oh you know they suck and everything and all that I wouldn't trust on the track well yeah that's because I want to daily my bike so that's why I got these tires. You know, like I said before, you know, they're dual, they're dual compound. And the good thing about dual compound tires is that, well, you know, on the very center of the tire, they're hard compound. And on the sidewall, they're sort of softer. Yeah. They're much softer on the sidewalls for better grip, for better handling and everything. You know, that's why I like these tires. What is that clicking noise? Oh, you know what? I know what it is. It's fun bearing. 
Yeah, I say that's my fairy, but don't worry, that fairy, that piece of fairy from the very bottom is broken, so it flies out. I am not worried about it. <laughs> Anyways, I was gonna say, okay, so now how come I'm going for that Michelin um, house part? I forgot what it's called, but basically it's amazing for the rain, for apparently. But the reason I didn't go with it because I've been hearing a lot about uh, people saying it's like, oh yeah, they dried up really badly and everything. You know, that's what a lot. You know, that's what I've been hearing a lot of people say over here. You know, especially this this state of Arizona where, especially in the summertime, it's brutal. You know, this is basically a desert. So that's why I didn't go with the Michelin. It's like, okay, you know what? I think I need to trust these people because I'm, you know, I'm going to spend a, a few bucks on these tires. So yeah. So that was another reason why I just stick with Dunlop tires because I know they don't dry up in the sun. Like on my FRI, they need to be changed. Well, my old FRI that my friend Patrick has. You know, they need to be changed out, but that's because he took them on a track day find and they finally need to be changed out. Like, Jesus Christ. Those tires will last a long time. And so that's why I got these set of tires because they're going to last me a long time. Yes, I know they're not as grippy or whatever, but I don't care because, you know, this is my street bike. This is not my track bike. <laughs> and I'm glad it's not raining because like I said because these are brand new tires and I don't want to bring it out on the rain <laughs> I just need to at least just get them broken in Ooh, yeah it turns so much nicer now <laughs> oh yeah so now I got everything for this bike well other than the chain sprocket kit I'm planning soon so I'm going. I am planning soon to do, you know, like performance wads. Well, yeah, we got the intake and everything, but I meant like a power commander, and we'll do a full video on that. But first thing, I need to get a uh, new chain truck because that was real bad. Even though the power commander can wait, I haven't ordered one yet. But I definitely do want to start working back on my uh, pit bike. Because right now, I just need to buy some uh, some bolt kits for it and everything. And then I'm going to try to get it running. Which I'm going to try to make a video of it. Yeah, I still have it. <laughs> for those of you who've been around for a long time, yeah, I still have the good bike. You know, I just need to order some parts for it. Oh my god, I was so happy with this microphone because like my first like the, the first time I heard it and when I uploaded I was like I was so happy because like now it's on the freeway you're able to hear me you're able to hear me really clearly now. And I was so happy about that because a lot of times on my old videos on my old setup and everything, it was just bad and I, and I just hated it. But I never found my way to go around with to find a new microphone until you know that day. So I'm so glad I made that change and everything. Like you can probably still hear me perfectly fine even going at this piece. And yeah, this is traffic so you walk up to Arizona. <laughs> How this guy's going about 100 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, damn California. No, that guy's going over 100. <laughs> ah, look at that. It's cool about this. Hi, kids. Oh, there's somebody in there. <laughs> Yeah, let's not be, let's not uh, throw up some um, hand gestures. Well, there were sign language and everything, but people saw them as hand gestures and got that one guy arrested. Y'all remember that? Where he's like, he was saying hi, but in sign language. But, you know, it looks like he was pointing a gun at them. 
well, with his hands as a jester. So he got arrested for it. And I'm just like, they tried to explain that there were hand, like, hand signs? Apparently not. But sucks for him though. That's a bad. It's been getting really cold lately, but I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> like, it's much colder when the last time I was complaining about it, but now I'm just like, yeah, I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm on my bike finally, so it's fine. Sure, sure, yeah, there's Arizona. The school bus passing for fuck's sake. Man, I need to work on not cussing so much. <laughs> Look at the school drivers! Not everybody! Uh -huh, this is Arizona. Now I do want to go slow on this corner because, you know, like I said, these are new tires and crashing onto the freeway at this speed. Oh my god, I feel the, it feels weird. <laughs> like I know the tires but they're not exactly gripping well because they're brand new it's my first time riding on them yeah I know <laughs> it's like you shouldn't be riding them when it's uh, raining but it's been a rainy week yeah I know but you know what today it's not going to be raining supposedly do I trust it nope <laughs> but that's new I'm going to ride my bike anyways <laughs> 